and another classification based on the metabolic fate based on the metabolic fate that means uh, type of amino acid which is entering in the type of metabolism and what is the end product they are forming okay based on the type of end product okay in the metabolism they are forming okay and which metabolic uh, path they are taking okay that amino acid so here in amino acid we are having two groups you can say nh2 ch coh and r right so when you remove this amino group okay this is carbon skeleton okay this is carbon skeleton so this amino group is required for formation of uh, some other uh, important uh, functional substances in the body okay or once they have uh, performed its functions okay it will be converted into urea and excreted okay and what is the fate of this carbon skeleton so this carbon skeleton may be involved in synthesis of uh, glucose for energy purpose and for storage purpose it involved in synthesis of fat okay if particular carbon skeleton involved in energy production that is known as glycogenic or glucogenic amino acid okay so the amino acids which are serving as precursor for formation of glucose are glycogen so how many are there in number alanine aspartate glycine and methionine are the glycogenic amino acids so as i mentioned ketogenic so here the amino acid the carboskeleton of amino acid which is involved in formation of fat okay that is known as ketogenic amino acid okay because for ketone bodies how this synthesis acetyl coa is required okay that acetyl coa converting into acetyl coa so which is a ketone body okay so the fat if these carbon skeleton involved in the precursor and synthesis of fat those amino acids known as ketogenic amino acids okay the two prominent amino acids which are ketogenic especially leucine and lysine in competitive exam they will ask okay under the following which is ketogenic amino acid okay so you should name leucine and lysine okay based on the option they are provided okay so remember leucine and lysine are the two amino acids out of 20 okay which are purely ketogenic and the third category few amino acids are there okay their carbon skeleton half will be involved in uh, glucose production half will be involved in fat production okay so that's why mixed glycogenic as well as ketogenic okay there are four amino acids they are phenylalanine isoleucine tryptophan and tyrosine okay phenylalanine isoleucine tryptophan and tyrosine that means all aromatic amino acids are mixed glycogenic and ketogenic okay their carbon skeleton involved in production of energy as well as fat so new amino acids so recent inventions so so far we have studied that only 20 amino acids are present in our protein structure but recent inventions uh, they have discovered okay they say like two more new amino acids uh, they started identifying in the protein structure what are they one is selenocysteine and other one is pyrolysine okay that means modified form of lysine okay the modified form of lysine is known as pyrolysine so they will ask in viva okay what are the new amino acids okay selenocysteine and pyrolysine so to tell something about uh, selenocysteine okay this selenocysteine acting as active site of several enzymes okay and such example thioreductin reductase okay thioreductin reductase which involved in the reduction reactions and glutathione peroxidase in the peroxide reactions okay antioxidant activity enzymes okay so for that we require selenocysteine okay and diiodinase in thyroid hormone synthesis we do require and glycine reductase in synthesis of serine from the glycine okay so all these are points regarding selenocysteine selenoprotein that means a protein which containing uh, sel uh, selenium okay in the structure okay that is known as selenoprotein okay that means 10 selenocysteine residues are present okay here selenocysteine is a combination in place of sulfur uh, the, not in place of sulfur the cysteine molecule which is in combination of selen uh, selenium okay that is known as selenocysteine okay which is found in mammalian blood and the main important function is antioxidant function okay this selenoprotein will be acting as a antioxidant function okay and its concentration false okay this selenoprotein concentration falls in case of selenium deficiency okay selenium is a mineral 
okay and uh, the stop codon that means UGEA can code for cellular cysteine not in humans okay don't get confused when a stop codon is a uh, UGEA how come it can code for cellular cysteine okay in not in uh, some primates and in some microbial flora this may possible not in humans okay pyrolysin pyrolysin also can be coded by stop codon UAG okay not in us okay it doesn't have any uh, thing to do with uh, protein synthesis or in humans okay only in uh, microbial flora okay and microbes 